Hello, this is Brian Robinson, and welcome to my kitchen. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to teach you guys um, some really nice ways to cook and eat. Um, we're going to do this program. It's going to be a regular thing that we're going to do, uh, hopefully a weekly program basis. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to eat healthy. I'm going to teach you how to really enhance your body and be able to move forward with, um, with your abilities. Okay? Take two. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brian David Robinson, and I'm a professional chef. Um, I've worked for Disney, Sheridan, Weston, Omni. I've worked for uh, different country clubs. Um, and I am here to teach you, and I want to here to share with you how to eat healthy using a program I use called Food Combining. It's going to keep your metabolism up and it's going to get your body working for itself so that you can build more muscle mass so that you can stay trim and fit and have a lot more energy to do your daily stuff. Okay? This is a regular standard kitchen. I'm not using anything special because I want you guys to be able to do this at home. Okay? All right. What I have here is a standard wrap. Okay? I have to get these you can get these at any grocery store. I got these at Kroger's. Okay? And um, we're going to use a banana, peanut butter, nuts, oats, which uh, just an old fashioned, uh, they're called rolled oats, just like you would use for oatmeal, preferably without all the sugar in them, and a little bit of honey. And if you don't have regular granola, you can use different types of cereals. This one, I happen to get at Myers. Um, it is a, a cranberry almond crisp. It's got granola in it, sliced almonds, oats, clusters, flakes. So basically, you're getting your morning cereal, as long as it's a good, healthy cereal. This one I'm using right here, from the Kellogg brand, it's got mostly granola in it. And I think it works fantastic. Um, it's a lot less expensive than just going out and buying granola, but you're still getting all the flavors, the vitamins, and more importantly, um, the fiber that comes along with it. Okay. You can use soy nut butter, peanut butter. Um, the best type to get, um, if you're going to get peanut butter, would be fresh if you can get it done in your stores. But again, not everybody has that, so we're going to go with the standard GIF. Okay? So, just a, just a butter knife. I'm going around here, going around the edges. The idea behind this, as I'm doing this, is you want fast and slow sugars, fast and slow carbs. The idea behind it is that uh, you're going to keep your blood sugar from spiking and let your body work against itself trying to control it. Instead, this is going to control it for you and it's actually going to make your system work for itself. Um, I'm using a flour tortilla. A lot of people, instead of using a flour tortilla, um, we use a whole wheat. The challenge with that is, is I'm going to use a natural flour tortilla, no additives, no preservatives, no nothing, okay? And the idea is that this flour tortilla is a fast carb, okay? Your body can take it down because it's processed, it can break it down very quickly and go right into your system. So that's going to start spiking your blood sugar levels, start bringing it up. The peanut butter, however, is slow. It's a protein, and in this type of protein, it's going to be slower, okay? It's a nut, your body's going to take a little bit more to break it down. Um, so it's going to slow down your metabolism. So you have one moving it up, then the other one's going to start bringing it back down. Okay. Then I have a banana. If you all don't realize this, bananas have more starch than a baked potato. It could take your whole body the full day to break down a banana. Okay. Even though it's very soft, if you've ever had a really green one, they're very, very high in starch. Okay. And it's very slow, so it's going to take a while. Now I'm going to do is just slice these like you would for your morning breakfast cereal. And you can use about a half a banana per wrap. Okay. You don't want them too thick. And you're just going to put them in about the first, say, two inches to two and a half, three inches inside your wrap. Okay, going from one end to the other. And if you notice, in the peanut butter, 
um, you can go completely to the edge because when you roll it, it's going to smooth it out and it's going to st stretch out a little bit further. You don't want it going anywhere. Okay. So now, if you notice, I'm a little bit heavy on my starch. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little honey. Okay. Honey is very quick sugar, as you may have guessed. I'm just putting a very light amount. I lightly drizzled this. I'm going to show you nice and close up. Okay. I've lightly drizzled this. I just put a little bit in the center, and that's going to do a couple of things. It's going to bring your sugar back the other direction again. Okay. You can take some nuts, just some standard nuts if you'd like. I do. Okay. And again, you know, just beside the protein. Okay. You're also getting a lot of great vitamins and minerals, oils, and antioxidants that your body actually needs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break these nuts up. These right here. Or a standard pecan or a pecan. I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm just going to put a few. Again, you don't want too many on there. You want to be able to roll this back up. And then I'm going to take our oats, which are standard oats. The honey is also going to help hold this in place. So uh, it's real important to me, just on the order that things go in, just a light dusting of them, just so the honey helps keep it intact. Also, one of my favorites is dried fruits. Um, and again, if you have a granola or a cereal that have these, you're going to have already mixed right in. Okay? So just a light sprinkling of those right on. Come just about to the edge. I'm going to use uh, my little plate here to, since it's getting a little big, to show you. Okay? If you look, we haven't completed covering the whole thing just slightly. Um, you've got the fast carb. Okay, which is the flour, flour tortilla. You have the peanut butter, the banana, and the nuts, which are slow. The granola is a 50-50 in this case because it does have some sweet honey clusters on there. It does have some yogurt um, based on there um, and a little bit of nuts. So it's a 50-50 of a fast and slow carb and sugar. And again, the honey, the honey is going to help spike that up. So I've got a pretty good balance here. And that's the idea. It's like a seesaw. How I teach kids is just a seesaw. It's a balancing act. I'm going to take this now, it's really simply done, I'm going to roll it about a third, press it, you're going to make sure you're pressing on the ends because you want to make sure that everything's going towards the center and not too much weight in the middle, okay, I'm going to give it another fold, show this towards you a little bit more, okay, pressing on those ends, pinching them off, most of my pressure is on the very ends, forcing everything to the middle gently and it keeps everything tucked in so it doesn't fall out. Okay? I'm going to lightly roll it again. It's completely rolled. If you notice, a little pressure in the middle to firm it up. Most of it's on the end. I'll show you that. Right there, you see the ends are nice and flat. If I flip it over. If you have a hard time with it sealing, mine sealed pretty good because the peanut butter slid. If you have a hard time, just get a little bit of peanut butter. You still have it in your knife and just give it a little bit underneath like you would an envelope, flatten it right out, and you've got it done. Last, and I'm just going to go ahead and wash my knife right here, just so it doesn't stick. And then I use a chef knife in my kitchen, but again, we're just going to use what you guys standard have, just your regular oil butter knife. I'm just going to take this, cut it in at an angle. Show you what that looks like. And that looks pretty nice, huh? You can take these, you can eat them as they are. Um, makes a really nice treat. These will stay good all day. You don't have to refrigerate them. All my ingredients here came off the counter. None of them were refrigerated. Okay? So um, you can leave those out all day. Put them in a Ziploc baggie. You can also store them in your refrigerator if you'd like. Know this if you store bananas and things like that in your refrigerator, they're going to have a low, lot lower shelf life when they come out of your refrigerator because of condensation. Also, the refrigeration is going to start freeing up all those sugars in the banana and everything. And with that, um, pulling that out, it will tend to make it go a little faster. Just like um, if you were to take, say, some cereal or any kind of thing like that, put it in the fridge. Once you pull it out, it's going to release some of it. Okay? So you can take those and go right into the cupboard. Ziploc baggie. 
can also cut them up into smaller pieces if you like. You can notice they just fit perfect. You can make enough of these for the whole week if you want. Store them, bring them to work, game. Um, the nice thing about these, one of the things that I love, is that, uh, again, fast and slow sugars, fast and slow carbs. When you get up in the morning, okay, when you sleep at night, the word breakfast means breaking a fast. You've been fasting while you sleep, so when you wake up in the morning, in order to break that fast and do it properly, okay, in order to gauge your body for the fastest metabolism, to get your body working for you, I know you're out there sweating, you're out there working out, okay, but your body is gonna be working sluggish, okay? If you ever feel tired or everything while you're working out, your body's trying to pull yourself through the day. With these, fast and slow carbs, fast and slow sugars, what they're gonna do is get your body going. You can substitute any that you want. As an example, vegetables are slow, um, fruits are fast. So if I wanted to, I could put some strawberries in there if I'd like, okay? And substitute maybe for the honey, or just add a little bit if it's not gonna be too much. Um, so you really wanna substitute back and forth. I'll teach you more about that. Uh, but the idea is it's going to kick your metabolism off first thing in the morning, and once it's engaged, it'll be engaged all day long. Okay? It's going to give you a lot of quick energy. Friends of mine who are fighters, who uh, I'm a martial artist myself, um, I fight on the United States martial art team. Um, i got friends who do MMA style fighting, uh, UFC style fighting, things like that. Um, coaches, um, athletes, capoeira stylists, which I do as well. Um, all of those things, this is going to be excellent for your body. One other thing I'm going to teach you real quick is... Uh, I'm going to use a typical whey protein, and what you can do with this, pardon me for coming out of your view for a second, there we go, you can take your peanut butter, if you'd like, and some of your standard, you can use a meal replacement, or you can use just a standard whey powder. Take your peanut butter. Now I generally use, when I mix it like this, I'll stick the whole thing in the peanut butter jar and mix it up. It's easier to mix in a glass, okay? Because you gotta start creaming it a little bit to get it going. A uh, fork works really good too. The idea is that you're gonna mix this all together, okay? I'm using a spoon and a butter knife together because, again, I want to make sure these are something standard that just about everybody has in their kitchen. Okay? You can also put it in a Ziploc bag and squish it for a bit. It's not chocolatey enough. You can always add a little cocoa powder because the protein, the whey powder, is going to have protein in it. And if you have a good meal replacement one, that's the best because that one's going to work. If it has fast and slow sugars, fast and slow carbs, that one's going to work the best. Um, I ran out myself, but uh, I have some that I use that I'll end up showing you, which you can get. It comes from a company called Evolved, and they actually have a... Um, a meal replacement that works just that way. There's also other good companies out there um, that I've worked with and and know. Um, a friend of mine told me of another one that's out there called Vaisalis. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, she stands by it. So, um, and so I'm looking forward to trying that out too and seeing because my my interest is giving you guys the best possible things. And you know, if there's a good couple of companies out there, some good products, I'm going to share them with you. Um, so if you notice, it looks kind of like fudge, okay? Kind of tastes like fudge too. It tastes like peanut butter brownie is what it tastes like. Um, and so this is awesome. And so I just take this right here, and I would use that in with the peanut butter, okay? Put it right on the wrap when you first made them, and you're good to go. So uh, I'm getting ready to go off to work. Go out there and cook. So try these. Let me know what you think. And uh, you know, I'm happy we're here to help. So thank you. Mm. Those are good. Um, I'm going to clean this up. And have a great day. So take these in the morning. Take them in between your meals. And um, 
Have a great workout. Talk to you later.